Welcome to the fascinating world of quantum, meaning the smallest amount physics, where today we go over one of the universe's most intriguing particles, the photon. Whether it's the light from a distant star or the glow of your screen, photons are everywhere, carrying the energy of the electromagnetic spectrum to your eyes. But what exactly is a photon, and why is it so important in both the realms of chemistry and our daily lives? At its core, a photon is a quantum of energy or light, which is the smallest discrete amount of electromagnetic radiation. It is the carrier of electromagnetic force, even though it itself is massless and always moves at the speed of light, which is almost 300,000 kilometers per second in a vacuum. The concept of the photon was developed in the early 20th century by scientists like Max Planck and Albert Einstein. After studying the glow of heated metal, Planck suggested that electromagnetic energy could only be emitted or absorbed in fixed amounts or quantities and gave the smallest quantity of it the term quantum. Planck proposed that the energy E of the smallest fixed amount, quantum, was equal to a constant multiplied by the frequency nu of the radiation, and that is where we get Planck's constant, which is H equals 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joule seconds. Einstein expanded on this idea, showing how light could be thought of as comprising of particles or packets, and coined the term photons for this light. This is most evident with the photoelectric effect in which you shine light on a metal surface and electrons are emitted. For this discovery, Einstein was awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1921. The energy of a photon is directly proportional to its electromagnetic wave frequency and inversely proportional to its wavelength, with the equations being E equals H times nu and lambda times nu equals C, where E is energy, H is Planck's constant, nu is frequency, lambda is wavelength, and c is the speed of light. Ultimately, Einstein was credited with the explanation that photons also exhibit particle-like in conjunction with wave-like properties, a duality that is at the heart of quantum mechanics. The discovery of wave-like nature of light predates Einstein and was initially proposed by Christian Huggins in the 17th century, but it was Thomas Young's double-slit experiment in the early 19th century that provided strong evidence for the wave nature of light. Later, James Clerk Maxwell's electromagnetic theory, which describes light as electromagnetic waves, further solidified our understanding of light's wave properties. The wave characteristics can be broken down into two categories, wavelength and frequency. Wavelength is the distance, usually measured in meters, between successive crests of the wave, and frequency is the number of wave crests passing a fixed point per second, which we give the SI unit hertz, Hz. These properties are inversely related. As the frequency increases, the wavelength decreases. This can be most clearly seen through the electromagnetic spectrum. The electromagnetic EM spectrum encompasses all types of electromagnetic radiation, which is a form of energy that is propagated through space in the form of waves, which differ from one another in their terms of wavelengths and frequencies. These waves travel at the speed of light, approximately 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second in a vacuum, and vary in size from the very short wavelengths of gamma rays to the incredibly long wavelengths of radio waves. The EM spectrum is a continuous range of wavelengths, but is commonly divided into several regions from shortest to longest. The first is gamma rays with the shortest wavelengths, less than 10 picometers, and the highest frequencies, 10 to the 19th hertz to 10 to the 24th hertz. Gamma rays can carry a significant amount of energy. They are produced by the most energetic phenomena in the universe, such as nuclear explosions, radioactive decay, and cosmic events. Next is x-rays. X-rays have wavelengths ranging from 10 picometers to 10 nanometers and frequencies ranging from 3 times 10 to the 16th hertz to 3 times 10 to the 19th hertz. This high frequency range allows x-rays to penetrate various materials making them particularly useful in medical imaging such as in radiographs to visualize the interior structure of the body and in industrial applications including security and material analysis. The next is ultraviolet UV light. UV light spans wavelengths from about 10 nanometers to 400 nanometers with frequencies between 7.5 times 10 to the 14th hertz and 3 times 10 to the 16th hertz. Furthermore, UV light is divided into several categories based on its wavelength. UVA is 315 to 400 nanometers. It is the least energetic and most long wave light, which reaches the Earth's surface and responsible for skin aging and long-term skin damage. UVB 
is 280 to 315 nanometers. It's more energetic than UVA. UVB is particularly absorbed by the ozone layer, but can still reach the Earth's surface, causing sunburn and playing a key role in the development of skin cancer. UVC is 100 to 280 nanometers. It is the most energetic and dangerous form of UV light. It's almost entirely absorbed by the Earth's atmosphere, particularly the ozone layer, and does not naturally reach the Earth's surface. UVC is used for germicidal purposes in artificial sources. Next is visible light. This is the portion of the EM spectrum that can be perceived by the human eye, covering wavelengths from roughly 400 nanometers violet to 700 nanometers red, with frequencies between 4.3 times 10 to the 14th hertz and 7.5 times 10 to the 14th hertz. The visible spectrum is often divided into colors, each with its own range of wavelength. Violet is 400 to 450 nanometers, blue 450 to 495 nanometers, green 495 to 570 nanometers, yellow 570 to 590 nanometers, orange 590 to 620 nanometers, and red 620 to 700 nanometers. These colors blend smoothly into one another and the boundaries between them are not precisely defined and can vary depending on the source. Visible light makes up a very small part of the EM spectrum and is emitted by sources like the sun, light bulbs, and screens. Infrared IR radiation is next. Infrared wavelengths range from 700 nanometers to 1 millimeter with frequencies between 8 times 10 to the 11th hertz and 4.3 times 10 to the 14th hertz. IR radiation is associated with heat and is used in various applications such as night vision equipment, remote controls, and thermal imaging. Microwaves is next. Microwaves cover wavelengths from about 1 millimeter to 1 meter and correspond to frequencies approximately between 2 times 10 to the 9th hertz and 8 times 10 to the 11th hertz. They are used for cooking in microwave ovens, radar, and in telecommunications because they can penetrate the atmospheric conditions like rain and clouds better than higher frequency signals. The last is radio waves. With the longest wavelengths in the EM spectrum, they range from 1 meter to thousands of kilometers with frequencies of 3000 hertz up to 2 times 10 to the 9th hertz. Radio waves are used for broadcasting radio signals, television signals, as well as for communication with satellites and in radar systems. The next time you bask in the sun's warmth or use your smartphone, remember the photon, a tiny particle with no mass, yet immense power to illuminate our understanding of the universe and drive innovation. As we continue to explore the quantum world, who knows what other secrets photons will reveal. Thank you for watching and I hope these explanations help. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask. And if you found value in the video, please like it and let people know about the channel because it really does help spread the knowledge. Based on what you learned, think about the following questions. What is a photon and why is it important for things like seeing colors or using electronic devices? Explain wavelength and frequency in relation to photons. Thank you so much for spending your valuable time learning and bettering yourself. If you like the video and want to learn more, donate or get tutoring, please check out my website, nocollegeneeded.org. You can use the code NCN for 20% off tutoring and any supplemental materials. If the subject isn't up yet, please be patient. I'm working on bringing them up as soon as I can.